Hey everybody, we're going to take a look at Screencast-O-Matic now. Um, basically, Screencast-O-Matic is a great tool. I used to use Jing a lot for screencasts. Now I use Screencast-O-Matic. Uh, pretty easy to find. Uh, so basically, Screencast-O-Matic.com. Uh, it is free. I pay for a pro account, which is $15 a year. The benefit of the pro account is basically I can add in... Um, you know, number one, I don't have the watermark on my videos that may or may not be important to you. Um, also, I can publish videos to Google Drive, and um, but I mean, it's it still is a great tool, and I think it can accomplish most of your purposes as a teacher or a researcher or class instructor um, for the free account. But like I said, I have the pro version, so let's take a look at how easy it is to use. So I'll start up the screen recorder. Uh, actually, what I want to take a look, yeah, we'll start there. Uh, so here's my screen recorder right now. Uh, if you take a look, I mean, basically you have the recorder, you have the audio piece. Um, I can change the screen size. I'm going to keep it at medium right now. Uh, I can turn on or off my webcam if I want to. Um, a lot of times students will ask or, or, you know, colleagues will ask, do I have to use the webcam? No, you don't. Um, then there's other advanced functions. I think most of these are all available on the free version as well. Um, but like I said, I pay, I pay for the Pro. So all I have to do is I click record. It'll let me know that the timer is started uh, and then it'll start recording. I can annotate this if I want to. The nice thing about Screencast-O-Matic that I like is that it'll follow your mouse cursor and it'll leave a halo around it so that it'll show or indicate to people where you are on the screen. So when I'm all done, I just go ahead and click done. Uh, the nice thing about Screencast-O-Matic, as opposed to some of the other tools that I've tried, is right away, I mean, obviously I could test it, but I can also edit very easily um, using a little scrubber. I can go to the point in the video that I want to stop. Um, there's also easy ways to edit and add some zoom, or I can add an overlay or transitions or pretty much any other basic edits that I want to. I can immediately, I have the pro version so I can upload it to Google Drive, uh, I can publish it to YouTube, make it easy for people to access. I can save it in Screencast-O-Matic if I want to host it but then not put it on YouTube. Some of you are worried about that. Um, so that's one of the options that you have. So Screencast-O-Matic is a great tool as I mentioned. It's a great way to do screencasts and show people what you're looking at. Um, I've been using it for a little while. I use it to show students how to get into wiki spaces, to edit documents. I show them uh, if I'm trying to show a, a website, you know, and how to access it. Um, you can also use it to read through a document uh, for other people. Um, you can show a piece of text that you want your students to examine. Um, you know, sometimes I also use it, or colleagues of mine will use it to provide feedback for students in a writing piece that they have. Uh, so once again, it's Screencast-O-Matic. Um, it's free. Uh, I do pay for the pro version, which is $15. Uh, but I think for most of our purposes, you should be able to use it uh, using the free version. But by all means, support the developers. And that's Screencast-O-Matic.com.